Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. It's one of my favourite, yep, one of my favourite uh, types of video. The Mega Gadget Collection is here with you today with a whole collection of gadgets and technology, something for absolutely everyone and I can't wait to actually uh, share these with you. So let's get on with uh, the Mega Gadget Collection, shall we? In fact, just to let you know, this is one of my most requested and most popular series. I did this many, many years ago when I first started doing YouTube videos, and the Mega Gadget Collection is so popular, I can't wait to share all of these little bits of tech. So let's start off with this one. Uh, this is from Biostar. Uh, I didn't know, this is just my naivety, I didn't know Biostar made such great solid state drives. Uh, this is their S120 solid state drive. Uh, this is a standard sort of uh, 7 centimeter uh, by 100 centimeter by 7 millimeter thick solid state drive. And it comes in various capacities. Uh, it uses a SATA 3 interface. This particular one is 256 gigabytes. Now, if you've watched my videos over the past few weeks, you'll know that I'm actually in the process of gathering components to build a new PC. Uh, things are progressing quite nicely behind the scenes. I'm just doing lots of testing. And uh, this I tested as a boot drive. 256 gigabytes is perfect for a boot drive on a Windows 10 PC. And the installation procedure, very, very smooth. The actual performance of this, absolutely top notch and it's just a really nice simple drive very light as you can imagine uh, the only shame is it's 256 gigabytes and don't take this the wrong way but it's 256 gig which is great for a boot drive i just wish i had a one terabyte or two terabyte version of this so that i could use it as secondary storage uh, but the in, as i say the installation was fine the performance has been fine of course there's no moving parts inside a solid state drive so it runs silently as well uh, so if you're in the market for a SSD uh, for a boot drive then definitely check these out they're very very affordable as I mentioned before this is the Biostar S120 uh, I think you can also get them in a slightly lower 128 gigabyte capacity although don't quote me on that but the 256 is the sweet point in this particular range and uh, I can highly recommend it so moving on to the next product and then I'm going to take in a look inside the live chat after this next product because this is a live video of course so if you've got any questions or comments throughout this mega gadget collection please do use the live chat I'll have a look in there very very shortly uh, this next one is from GameSir I've actually reviewed GameSir products before and this is their G6S it's a mobile gaming controller just look at this and it's got uh, dual motors for vibration. It uses uh, the touch troller technology from GameSir, uh, non-slip silicon, uh, and also it's got uh, eSports level micro switches inside and it connects via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Now I happen to have an iPhone 11 Pro Max here. I'm never gonna get used to those names inside the controller and it fits even though this is a large phone it actually fits in quite nicely uh, and it, it feels really comfortable actually because it's a, a weird shape it's, it's termed as a one-handed controller I think uh, and because it's got like a, a non-symmetrical shape I thought it was going to be uncomfortable but it's actually very comfy to use uh, we've got shoulder buttons on here but only one on this side which is a little bit of a shame I would have liked there have been two on both sides but we've got shoulder buttons and then along the front edge just here we've got various controller buttons here in this configuration just here we've also got a thumbstick and then some selection buttons just here as well there's also underneath an on off switch and a charging point you get a charging cable supplied inside the box and if you're playing mobile games this just feels so natural it's really very very nice indeed I'm going to just remove the, the phone oh, it's quite a tight fit the iPhone 11 Pro Max I will tell you that but you can see now we've got this sort of this slight texture to the back and it sort of comes out on this sort of spring mechanism so it's spring loaded and it's that spring that keeps it sort of cl clipped onto your phone there are little rubber pads just here 
there are little rubber pads just here as well so it's not going to damage the sides of your smartphone it's not, not going to mark it uh, I would say if you've got a thick case you might have to take it out of the case to install it inside here but the game sir g6s just feels right it's really very nice there's also some grippy pads on the back as well so really nice product if you're into your mobile gaming that's well worth checking out so let's have a look inside the live chat a big hello wow so many of you tuned in tech for your needs good morning to you also spadman 97 ruby tistic pyramid 7 and gho 69 thank you very much for tuning in live i really do appreciate it uh, as i said before if you're part of the Geek and Noise community and you tune in live to the videos, you get a chance to interact with me in the live chat. And if you're watching after the live broadcast, you can still leave a comment in the comment section below. So I'm going to move on to the next product. Just quickly before I do so, if you want to purchase any of these products, there are links down in the video description to where you can purchase them for yourself. There's also links to the manufacturers who very kindly su supplied these products free of charge for this video. So a big, big thank you to them. So let's move on to the next one. Which one should we do next? Let's do these. These are from Edifier. These are the TWS1 wireless earbuds. Uh, really good battery life on these. And they come available in either white or black. I happen to have the white pair here. Very clean design. This is the little tiny charging case. We've got the micro USB charging port on the back. We open this up to reveal the little earbuds. Very, very nice design on these. Little contacts inside the charging case that match up with the contacts on the earbuds. And something that's nice attention to detail is that instead of these having black silicon ear tips, they're a gray color, which works really nicely with the white color of the actual earbud itself. So very, very nice. Trying to get this to focus in for you. There we go. Very, very nice design. Obviously made of plastic, but a very nice grade of plastic. Edify branding on the top there, super comfortable to wear. Little LED feedback as well on the side. Uh, just very, very comfortable. And these actually produce a really nice sound. Just something before I move on to the audio quality. When you pop them in the case, the magnet pulls them down into the case and you can see the charging light come on. So very, very nice complete package. Audio quality. Really nice bass frequency on these. They sound very, very natural. Really nice mid-tones as well. And a lot of detail, a lot of detail in the audio here. And the, the sort of deciding factor for me that makes me recommend these is the comfort. They're very lightweight and they certainly do stay in the ear when you're using them. So really lightweight, comfortable fit and a really nice charging case. So they're the Edifier TWS-1. Questions in the live chat. Spadman97 asking a question about the Biostar S120, the solid state drive that I showed you at the beginning of this video, asking how much are they. The prices vary, so I never really quote prices in my videos because over time, as you all know, technology prices uh, change on a daily basis, sometimes even an hourly basis. There is a link down in the video description, uh, uh, Spadman, to where you can pick this up for yourself and that will show you the current pricing for the country that you live in. Uh, moving on, let's move on to the next product. We've got something from Basius here. This is part of their mirror series. This is their multifunctional USB-C hub. This is what the uh, product packaging looks like. Uh, don't worry about remembering the model number or, or needing to know the model number again. This is linked to down in the video description. This is what it looks like if you own an Ultrabook or a MacBook Pro, then something like this is well worth checking out. We've got a captive cable on here with a right angled USB-C port. Uh, I'd say this is about 12, maybe 15 centimeters long, so a little bit longer than comes on some. Uh, we've got a USB-C uh, pass-through port here, so you can actually still plug in your charger to your laptop. So if you've got a laptop or an Ultrabook that's only got one USB-C port, this would go in that USB-C port and then you'd plug your charger in here. We've got HDMI on the end which supports I believe up to 4K 30Hz and then round on this side we've got three USB 3 ports, one, two, three, and also micro SD card and an SD card reader as well. 
We all know, I've said this in many videos, when Apple launched their MacBook Pros, I think it was 2015 or 2016, the word Pro and people who create content didn't quite go together because they removed the uh, SD card readers. So something like this is essential for an Ultrabook, not just a MacBook Pro, but any Ultrabook that doesn't have these legacy ports, the older USB-A type ports, and doesn't have an SD card reader, this is a really good choice. It's a metal casing primarily, a little bit of a fingerprint magnet on the top, but it works extremely well and it's very keenly priced. So if you want to get your ports back, plus HDMI, plus memory card reader, do check out this Basius USB-C hub. And then after you've done all of this playing with your technology, after you've worked hard all day, you've come home from work, work really tired, do a bit of relaxing with your tech, enjoy a bit of television, you might, like me, have some aches and pains. And this, this has been working really well for me. I've been suffering from a very bad back over the past few weeks. Uh, this is from Omron, it's their Heat Tens pain reliever. Uh, it's like a little mini tens machine uh, and it actually gives out heat and tens which is tiny little micro pulses of electricity and uh, that stimulates the the muscle that's got the pain in it and uh, and helps relieve the pain it's really very good now i'm not a medical professional so a little bit of a disclaimer for you if you are suffering from some sort of pain and uh, you don't want to just get one of these and, and try it then please do seek proper professional medical advice from your GP prior to trying something like this. So full disclaimer there, I'm not a medical professional but this has actually been working extremely well for me. Inside the box you get a charger, uh, you also get full instructions and with something like this, with general technology I don't read instructions when it's something that's medical I read the instructions so very important you read these. You also get the Omron Heat Tens machine itself, which I'll show you in a bit more detail very shortly. You also get this connector cable, which comes out to two of these pads. And it's these pads that you're gonna place, like I've been having back pain just on this shoulder blade at the back. You're gonna place these little um, sort of silicon gel type pads, which help with the conductivity of these. Uh, you place them on the black portion and then onto the affected area and then you turn the machine on and work through the various programs. Now it says on here, it does heat plus tens. You can really customize your treatment. It's got triple action and it's rechargeable. So the actual unit itself, this here, you don't have to have this plugged into the mains. It's got a rechargeable battery inside. So you recharge it via this socket here with the included charger, and then you plug in those pads to this one here. And if we turn this on, you can see the display here as well. So we've got the display with the various programs that you're gonna uh, choose from. We've also got the battery level down the bottom here. And then we've got the controls for actually, uh, let me just do this. So you've got the controls here for navigating through the various options. And then we've also got set. So when we click set, then it gives you some other options to choose from. And then you can obviously start the program going. Now, as I say, I've been using this for about a week, week and a half now, because I've been really suffering from this bad back. And it has been excruciating, but this definitely has alleviated some of the pain. It hasn't completely gone, but it's definitely alleviated it and definitely helped. And I really do like the fact this is a nice compact package. Uh, just here on the side, it just gives, gives you a diagram of some of the plate, various placements of the pads that you can, you can actually try. And actually, if I go back to, let's go back to this uh, user manual. If you go into the user manual, uh, package contents here. Uh, so in the user manual, depending upon where the problem area is, it gives you various examples of pad placement. So well worth checking through this. But as I say, I've been really pleased with the results from this so far and uh, still 
seek that medical advice, ask your GP, uh, see what he thinks of you using something like this. It's very low power, uh, but it's a proven technology as far as I'm concerned. I've, I'm sure that it, it is, has been tested thoroughly and I really do recommend it because there's nothing worse than having a bad back. So really good, very, very good uh, product indeed. Uh, just to recap, show you that box again. This is the Omron Heat 10. So it does heat plus the electrical impulses. So that is it for this mega gadget collection. There really is something for everyone, as the title suggests. Uh, I haven't got a favorite this time. I love every product I've shared with you. And as I mentioned before, there are links to all of them down in the video description area. So please do check those links out. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Join me again for another video very soon on the Geek and Noise channel.